Hello. Happy Thursday. This is your first installment of Homeschool with Miss Marilyn. We are all taking a vacation from school right now because there is a very serious illness going around all around the country called coronavirus. And the government has decided that we all need to stay in our houses as much as possible so that we stay safe and that we stay healthy. When the virus is not going to make people sick anymore. <laughs> That's sorry, she's coughing. That's what people with this illness sound like. She has a cranial problem for her parents that are watching, and it causes her to do this. Uh, when the government feels that it is safe for us to return to school, we're going to go back, and we're going to resume having all the fun activities that we do in school. In the meantime, I'm going to provide, maybe, <laughs> I'm going to provide some lessons that will help you to continue enjoying school while you guys are having to stay at home. The first story that I have selected right here, it's called We Like Kindergarten. We're going to retitle it to We Like School. And it was one of the first books that I got when I was a child. And I still have it all these years later. This book has got to be about 51, 52 years old. Let's open it up and let's read it and let's find out. We like kindergarten. Here is your front cover. You know, our Sandy tells us we need to know the difference between the front cover. I got a dog in my lap. Wait a minute here. Oh, you need to get down, baby. Front cover. Back cover. That's the back cover right there. And, excuse my wall, but as you can see, I always put my feet up here, so it's quite dirty. Oh, and look, it's Uncle Luke. It's Uncle Luke in a cup. And the title page. This little golden book belongs to Marilyn Warner. My mother wrote that because I have had this book so many years. At the time she got it for me, I didn't know how to write my name yet. She wrote that for me. So here's our title page. I'm going to open it up see when it was published. It was published in 1965. So it's even older than, than what I said. Um, it says, the artist says a special thank you to Mrs. Hennekin and the children of the afternoon session of the kindergarten class at Canandaigua Primary School and to Cynthia Kimball, the carol of the story. It was based, you got to get down, baby. I'm trying to read. It was based on a real girl who was starting school. So my mother got this for me when I was starting kindergarten. It would have been in the fall of 1968. I want to read it to you. It says, My name is Carol. I am going to kindergarten. I go to kindergarten every day. In our case, it would be I go to school. I go to school every day. Just not right now. And there's Carol in her house with her dog and her cat and her mom and her little sister. Turn the page. Sorry, it's the first time I've done this, so you're going to get real how it's like to read when you're not used to it on video. Lori and Teddy Bear want to go to kindergarten, too. So does Rusty. So does Patches. So Carol is going to school with her mom. At kindergarten, I hang up my spotted coat. Steven hangs up his brown coat. In our room, we take our jackets off and we put them in our backpacks. They have hangers there. All the boys and girls go into the kindergarten. Miss Hall is our teacher. She plays the piano. We sing. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. 
Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. And we will be doing that again, hopefully, by May. Oh, look at this. Michael feeds our fish. Susan feeds our turtle. We take turns. Someday it will be my turn to feed them. There they are. We don't have live animals in school. We play with pretend ones instead. But the nice thing is you're at home right now with your animals just like I am. There they are. There's a couple of them. Haley and Boo. And it looks like uh, he's in the kitchen there. Um, Jeannie, Jeannie the cat in the kitchen. So you guys be home with your critters too. We do finger painting. I am painting with blue. Karen is painting with red. But if you look real close, Karen had, had some blue there first. And when you paint with blue and red, it makes purple. So her picture is turning purple. Carol is only painting with the color blue at this time. Oh, see what else they're doing? We make animals of clay. I am making a dog. Douglas is making an elephant. Oh, look at that. A dog and an elephant. Every once in a while, we get the Play-Doh out, too. Oh, look at that picture. Oh, somebody in Carol's class, class made that picture. I see two eyes, one nose, a mouth, one, two ears, hair, ig ignore the dog, a torso or a body, one, two arms, and one, two, three, four, five fingers. Excuse me one minute. I need to deal with this. Hey! End it! Excuse me. Sometimes Miss Marilyn needs to get a little loud with her dog so that so that they behave. Turning the page, we play games. We play Farmer in the Dell. <gasps> that was the page that I first learned how to read in this book all by myself. I was probably in first grade because I wasn't the quickest reader in the class. Look at that. But I do remember that. I was so excited when I could read that page and I was like six. There they are. There they are playing Farmer in the Dell. We do games like that, too, for P.E. in the afternoon. <gasps> we play music. Jack plays a drum. There is Jack with his drum. Look at him playing it. Sally plays the bells. <gasps> There's Sally with her bells. We like to play music. Let's see what the other kids are playing. <gasps> Carol, she's playing the triangle. We play, have a triangle that we play. I don't know her name. We'll call her Annette. She looks like she's playing a horn. Oh, look at that. We'll call her Nettie. Nettie is playing a wooden block. Here's a, we'll call him Nicholas Nicholas, he's playing a horn, too. Could almost pass as a clarinet. And there's, there's, ah, I can't remember his name. He was in the other story on the other page. Let's go back and see. Poor retention. What was his name? Douglas. There's Douglas. Douglas, he's not really too into music, so he's covering his ears. He doesn't want to play anything. He's just going to wait it out. Sometimes we do that in our room, too, when our friends are a little loud. We cover our ears and we try and tune that sort of thing out. 
I can think of two friends who are going to be watching this story that make a good decision. And when things are too loud, they cover their ears and they take a break, just like Douglas is in this story. We listen while Miss Hall tells us stories. We sit quietly. We like to hear stories. When we are all in school together, that's what we do when we have group time. We all sit quietly and listen when I'm reading. Today, you're doing it on video in your house. You're listening to me read a story. At the moment, it's very quiet in my house, too. My critters are behaving. <gasps> we show and tell about things that happen. Mark told about his new baby sister. Eric showed us his pet hamster. Look at that. There's Eric. And there's his pet hamster. Oh, that's pretty cool. We go outside to play. I like to swing. We all take turns. Oh, when we go mainstreaming on the playground, sometimes we go swinging too. We go swinging, we go sliding, we take walks, and we play ball. I miss doing that. Hopefully by May 1st, we're going to be able to do that again. In the meantime, while you're at home and the weather's good, you can go out in your yards and you can play with what you have to do in your yards. We have milk to drink. Jackie did not drink all of his milk. Oh, it's because it's spilled. <gasps> Sometimes that happens in class too. And we go to the sink and we get the wash rag and we clean up the milk. I hope all of you enjoyed the milk that, uh, that uh, came home in the bags for everybody who got one. Uh, hopefully it's drunk by now and, and it was well enjoyed. All right, let's see what happens next. <gasps> we rest on our rugs. My rug is blue. There's Carol with her blue rug. Kim's rug is blue too. Oh, <gasps> let's try and find the blue rug. Here is one blue rug. <gasps> is that rug blue? No. What color is that rug? Think about it a minute. That rug is yellow. Let's look at this rug. Oh, teacher, teacher, I declare. I see someone's underwear. Might be pink, might be white, might be full of dynamite. I see London, I see France. I see her underpants. But I also see her rug. Is it blue? Think about it a minute. Oh, that rug is purple. Let's look over here. <gasps> is that rug blue? Think about it. No. That rug is orange. Let's look at Jack's rug. Is his rug blue? No. His rug is like dark orange. Look at that rug. Oh, is that Kim? Is Kim's rug blue too? Yes, because our sentence told us Kim's rug is blue too. So now we know where's Kim. Here he is in his blue rug. Here's one more rug. Is that rug blue? Think about it. No, that rug is green. In school, we really don't take naps now. But if you're uh, really young and in your preschool, you still do. But for the most part, we work and learn. Eat, work on our hygiene skills. We're not taking naps in school anymore. <gasps> but this is something we do whenever we have parties. We dance. Martha and Annette dance. Paul and Jack dance. We like to dance. They're dancing with their teacher, Miss Hall. <gasps> when we have birthday parties, oh, we like to dance too. 
We draw pictures. Miss Hall hangs our pictures on the wall. I drew our house. I drew a picture of Lori by our house. There's Carol's picture. There's her little sister Lori by her house. Here's Lori. Can you find the house? Oh, look. Look for the house. Point to the house. Carol's looking at her picture right now. Oh, look, there's some letters. What letters do you see? C A R O L. That spells Carol. We have another picture over here. Look at that. I see two eyes, one nose, one mouth, one, two ears, one body, one, two arms. Oh, let's count and see how many fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Let's look over here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten fingers. They kind of look like rakes, but they're fingers. <gasps> One, two legs. One, two feet. And look, toes, too. One, two, three, four. That's all I see is there is four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight toes. You need ten. There's just eight. Look at that. Oh, let's see who drew this picture. G. I see letter G. E. O. R. G. E. That's George. George drew a picture. Maybe it's of himself. The story doesn't say, so I'm not sure. And they're all hung up just like we do around our room and outside of the classroom door. We like to hang up our beautiful artwork, too. And hopefully we'll be able to go back to school soon and make more artwork. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Hall. See you tomorrow. Getting ready to go home. Lori is waiting for me when I come home. So is Rusty. So is Patches. And so is Teddy Bear. There's Lori, Rusty, and Patches. They say, hi, Carol. Carol says, hi, family. Just like you're doing right now. You're spending your time with your family. <gasps> Now, I am the kindergarten teacher. I am Miss Carol. Lori and Rusty and Patches are my boys and girls. I play the piano. The children sing, Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Rusty and Patches and Teddy Bear sing softly. Lori sings loudly. She is glad to be in kindergarten. So, as you can see, they are having school at home. Just like you are having school at home right now, too. And it's going to be this way for a little while. But if you like the video I have just made and sent to you, Tell me so, and I will continue to make more for you. And that is the end of our story. This is just some old information of all the different stories that were available at, at the time in 1965. And a lot of these you can still find. I know the Peter Rabbit and the Pokey Little Puppy for sure. The Three Little Pigs. A lot of these stories are still available. So I'm going to close the book. There's our back cover.
with a lot of pictures of the stories that were in the little golden book series at this time. So I'm going to end the story. Bye, Carol. Bye, school. And I hope that everybody has a great Thursday. Message me back. Let me know if you watch this. If you like this, sorry I had to yell at my dogs, but you didn't want to bark in for the whole rest of the story. Oh, there's one there. Do you know who that is? Oh, you going to say hi? Are you going to say hi? That is Bonita. She is my rescue from last June. Bonita says hi. Hi. Hi, friends. And that's Haley. Haley says hi, too. Bonita. She really goes by Bonnie. And Haley. Haley's sleeping because it's kind of late and I'm filming this. But anyway, message me back. Let me know if you want more videos and I will make some more for you. Love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.